What is going on, YouTube? Xanderman here, and welcome to episode 10 of Growing the Gunners. So we come up against a uh, pretty decent-looking uh, Brazilian team. He's got a decent defense, but the attack is kind of lacking. We get the episode started in the 20th minute with Giroud on that left foot, and his left foot is absolutely clinical and one of the better left foots I've used in the game. And uh, as you can see here, those halftime stats are not looking too good. 61% possession, and somehow I am uh, managing to keep it together against this guy. Um, I, I pulled it back here in the uh, 89th minute, and I was pretty pumped with that because uh, this is a pretty crucial game, and I did not want to tie. That's the one thing that I just cannot stand is tying. I hate it more than losing to be honest if you lose then you know you know that person's better than you or something like that but if uh if you tie it's just you know you got no bragging rights or anything like that and uh it was also to win the title so we get ourselves four thousand coins which should help nicely with the uh, coming players i'm gonna sign here in a little bit that's the squad right now it's looking pretty decent the defense is the only thing that bothers me because there's no substitute left back there's no decent substitute right back because Sanya's pretty decent, but I have to put in uh, Jenkinson, and he is kind of a low-rated silver, and I don't really rate him very well. But um, as you see, we sign uh, Rosiski and uh, the Meat Sack, the big German himself, Murder Sacker, uh, with that monstrous 34 pace or something like that. Wow, he is just a speed demon. And I also pick up... The king, the lord, whatever you want to call him, Nicholas Bentner. And I also sign uh, Mikel Arteta, this Spanish midfielder. So the team is coming around uh, pretty nicely. We've got some good subs, and it's just I wish there was another center back besides Koscielny and Vermaelen. I know, I know, pace isn't everything, but when you have 34 pace, it really is a huge disadvantage. When you're coming up against teams with like Aubameyang and Benteke because he's just, Murder Sackers, he's strong, don't get me wrong. He'll probably pull some people off the ball, but if they've just got a little bit more pace than him, he's his strength isn't going to count for shit, to be honest. Uh, I know that's pretty bad of me to say, just with, I just want the pace, but it's kind of true. In the fence, you want someone with at least... I'd say 60 pace. If not, then you're going to seriously be uh, vulnerable to a counterattack or something of that nature. But anyway, we come up against this. Now, this is not what I wanted to see as soon as I put freaking 34 pace Murder Sacker in. Loic Remy and Samuel Eto up top. Andre Schurler on the left wing. And um, I don't know who he had on his right wing, but. It was just not Kevin Miralas, that's who he had. It was just not what I wanted to see. And um, fortunately for me, though, Nicholas Bentner right here decides, oh, first touch of the game, first goal of this, <laughs> of this series for uh, Nicholas Bentner, and it is an absolute beauty of a goal from, I'd say, 30 out, finesse shot. Oh, man, in, like, the third minute, I was pumped as soon as that happened. I was like, oh, man, this is just... This is already going great. So that's a really nice goal from him. I'm glad to see he already got on the score sheet with his first touch, just like the Borussia Dortmund player who scored uh, with his first touch of his first appearance for Dortmund. So Nicholas Bentner is uh, basically on the same level. But anyway, we get a uh, second goal there and another goal here with Rosicki on his left foot, which was an absolute beauty of a goal. And this guy... Um, Eventually, Rage quit in like the 90th minute right here. But coming up to the end of the episode, if you're new, make sure you subscribe for more. The next episode will be out as soon as possible. If you liked it, drop it a like, share it with your friends, do all that good stuff, and give me some suggestions in the comments below. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.